What's up table tennis nerds, welcome back to the Limitless channel. This is week 4 part 1 of my series Row to 1550 TTR points. <laughs> Timo is blocking super effortlessly here in our warm up. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, still warming up here and um, I remember in the session Timo was um, on fire when we played the matches, you're going to see that lately, uh, later. So here I was playing uh, exercise, just simply returning long backspin serves into my forehand. This is something I told you guys I have to work on a lot. Big problem in my matches. And this problem goes deeper than I thought, which you're going to see later in this episode. Um, Matthias explains me a thing or two about uh, what's wrong with, with that too in my technique and I didn't even realize it. So um, we, we're still doing this and yeah it's, it's so, so much details uh, that I have to consider there. It looks so simple but it's not. And yeah, Timo is very good with his smashes. It's, sometimes he has days where he just hits all of them. It's insane. And this was one of them. <laughs> and now Timo plays a, an exercise, a forehand topspin, forehand side, middle, then backhand from the backhand side and all over again. He wanted to work on uh, his footwork. So did I in this exercise that I do here. Very simple from my backhand side. Just backhand topspin, forehand topspin. And um, I always keep in mind these uh, little step. I don't know the name of it, but what I told you in the last episode that I have to, or one of the last episodes, that I have to move my right leg first sometimes and then the left leg, you know, just do simple side steps. You can just see that here in my footwork, I guess. And then uh, a few, uh, same thing here, but I open with a backspin ball so I can, um, so I have to uh, topspin against uh, a backspin return. And, uh, we didn't do, do that for long, I remember. Then we started playing matches, uh, sets. Timo was on fire on that day. Every slow topspin I did, uh, he smashed. <laughs> and he got the better of me that day, for sure. That was a fun session. Timo also sometimes is uh, good at just bringing the ball to the other side. And that's something I definitely have to learn, to not always want to win the point right away. Look at this. <laughs> Pure confidence. So I, I think I still have the mindset of a 16-year-old a lot when I play table tennis. I want to win the point as fast as possible. If you wonder why I say that 16 was when I stopped playing back in the days. Yeah, I think that mindset still sticked with me and I slowly now realize that it's not the best idea to just try to win every point right away. Especially against passive players, defense players, pimples. So yeah, it, it's definitely also part of my problem against these players. And especially in the low leagues, it's sometimes you just have to hold the ball, push one or two balls more than you would like to and then pick the right one to attack but definitely put that to work uh, you may see that in later episodes let's see so we jump to the tuesday morning session with matthias this was a very insightful session and also a session that uh, not much came together for me so you could say it was a bad session for me but it wasn't because these are the most valuable sessions just don't get frustrated if things don't come together guys it always happens for a reason here matthias explains me about the importance of the thumb and index finger in the forehand topspin movement and way of holding the racket which i really didn't realize i hold it more with my little finger and uh, up so the bottom three fingers so to speak and um, man this makes a big difference i have to get used to it but uh, i think that won't take long because it feels better and it gives me more really more control he talks about how uh, you can hear the spin in the 
barrier when the ball touches it that's very important that you that you create enough spin with your with your top spins especially against backspin and yeah that's uh, for sure a big part of my problem there i told him here hey i just realized that in the backhand movement it's totally clear for me that the thumb and the index finger play a big role and i do that naturally and yeah just a realization there epiphany that of course that's the same in the, in the foreign topspin and here you can see already i don't know if the ball leaves the table there you see already more spin and yeah again this was a big big epiphany there epiphany moment this may look ridiculous why is he playing me such high balls but that's exactly the balls i have problem with in in matches i have to move the footwork has to be correct and i have to just spin the ball play a high secure ball and not make a mistake right away and lose a point so very good session there and here we did some uh, some returns also with the same concept spin over over everything else yeah guys i'm still at 1409 points now if you want to see if i'm able to run it up again next game which will be very soon subscribe to the channel leave a comment a thumbs up and see you soon